Hello everyone, welcome back. Are you having a good day today? Okay, today we're gonna to be working in our Life of Fred book, Apples, on page 49, which is chapter seven, and the title is Waiting for the Rain to Stop. Fred was all alone in the Archimedes building. The classrooms were empty, the halls were empty, even the janitor had gone home. It was a million drop rain, and Fred didn't want to go outside. He decided to play at the blackboard. He had seen Domenico Fetti's painting of Archimedes. Fetti did his painting in 1620. This is how Fetti imagined Archimedes looked. He didn't know for sure since no one ever took a photograph of Archimedes. Archimedes was born 287 years before Christ. That's in 287 BC. And photography was invented over 2,100 years later. Fred drew on the blackboard what he thought Archimedes looked like. Fetty had named his picture Archimedes Thoughtful. Fred named his picture Happy Archimedes. Archimedes was a good name for the building that had the math classroom in it. If you don't count people who have lived recently, say in the last 500 years, Archimedes is probably the best mathematician who has ever lived. He also invented new machines and studied the stars, but he never drew a picture of Fred Archimedes was studying a math diagram when a soldier ordered him to get up and follow him. Archimedes answered in Greek and said, Don't mess with my circles. Those were the last words he ever said. Moral. Don't be rude, especially to people with swords. New moral. Don't be rude to anybody. Fred had been drawing various pictures on the blackboard for an hour. It was now 10 o'clock and the rain had stopped. Fred looked out the window. The sun was a pale yellow. It wasn't very bright. The rain and the sun had melted all the snow. That made a lot of water. A lot of water is called a flood. When Fred walked outside the Archimedes building, he knew he was in a flood. Fred knew how to swim, so this was going to be fun. It was like a big swimming pool where he could play as long as he liked. He lived in Kansas. He didn't have to worry about alligators. There are no alligators in Kansas. He didn't have to worry about a giant whale swallowing him up. There are no whales in Kansas. He didn't have to worry about being run over by a big ocean liner. There are no ocean liners in Kansas. Okay guys, it's your turn to play. Did you remember to grab a piece of paper and a pencil? You can press pause at any time. Are you ready? Number one, three alligators plus four alligators equals how many alligators? Number two, 4y plus 3y equals what? Number three, how do you spell the fifth day of the week? And number four, name a famous mathematician who lived at least a thousand years ago. Okay, you can check your work now. Here are the answers. There's a small essay and it says where to live. People live almost everywhere on the earth. Every place has some nice things you can say about it. If you lived near the North Pole, you might not need air conditioning. If you lived in Kansas, you wouldn't have to worry about big ocean liners running you over. If you lived where you are right now, you would be close to people who love you. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. 
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.